I think you should be spraying it while I'm talking. Do more. More. A bit higher up. And press it a bit harder, Sarah. Woo! Hey guys, it's Chris Appleton. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create the wet look the right way. So guys, we've seen this look on red carpets all around the world, and honestly, probably the most requested hairstyle I get asked about, it's the wet look. It's easy to go wrong with this. Sometimes it can look really crispy, and other times it can look too greasy. I'm gonna show you the perfect way to get a sexy wet look that not only looks good, but it feels good too. So we're gonna use the Color Wow Pop and Lock. When you put it on your hand, it has this kind of like sparkle to it, but effectively what this does, it keeps the hair wet, looking. We're going to start at the back. I think we're going to work with more of a straight kind of slick look. When you're using this product, you're going to use a lot of it. So I usually use probably about six pumps. And then what you want to do is basically saturate the hair with the product. So make sure you get a lot through those mid lengths and ends, but more importantly, make sure you get it through the roots. The wet look doesn't make sense if you have wet ends and dry roots. So make sure you really get it in there, but it's an easy mistake to do. Then what I do is I'll use a tangle teaser, start to comb it through so it's evenly distributed and you should get something that looks like that. Just gonna take sections using my fingers. If I'm working with wavy hair, then I'll actually make the hair wavy first. If the hair's straight, you, you know, you can get straight in there. For a long time, I couldn't figure out how to do the wet look. It took me a minute to find the product. And I think honestly, the secret to a good wet look is just using the right product. I think today what we should do is we'll do a side part and we'll kind of slick it down. I feel like this girl would be wearing an all black leather outfit. Do you have a leather jacket? You don't walk around with leather jacket. I'm going to with the hairstyle. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like this wet look vibe can, it reads many different ways. I always think it kind of reads like a bit of a bad bitch. I feel like it always looks really kind of boss. But obviously if the hair's wavy and longer and looser, then you can kind of get a very like sexy feel to it. What I like to do is use some hairspray and I'll use a soft brush and then just basically like comb over the top. One of the key things is you keep it flat in the nape of the neck here. Or should we not slick it down then? Should we brush it back? So I'm actually gonna take the hair backwards now. So I'm using a tangle teaser to lift it off her head. And what I wanna do now is I'm actually just gonna use my fingers to create some volume on the top. This is kind of a look that we do quite often on magazine shoots for like covers. They always like it very simple and off the face, very effortless. So once I've got the front going kind of how I want it, I would spray it with hairspray. So I'm gonna come in at the roots. And then we're gonna use these little bad boys to clip the hair in place. I'm gonna do it to actually just pinch some volume in. And this kind of gives it that much more kind of wearable vibe. And then I'm gonna hit it with a hairdryer to set it in place. Okay guys, so you can see by just literally flipping it up, giving it a bit more volume, adding the hairspray, drying it in. I feel like this is almost like, imagine Trinity was on the cover of Vogue. Does anyone have small glasses? All right, guys, so you've got it. Two versatile wet looks. You can honestly have fun with this style. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and write in the comments what you want to see next time. Right, has anyone got an umbrella? Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, make sure you subscribe. And honestly, if you didn't, then f off.